Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create the Niagara effects you see right here. So with that, let's jump into it. So first things first, so I'm going to right click, create a new folder and name this effects. After that, I'm gonna right click, go down to FX and go to Niagara system. Uh, so these are a bunch of different systems you can choose from. Uh, however, what we're gonna be doing is basically using a, a blank Niagara system or an empty Niagara system. So I'm gonna type empty into the search bar, uh, click on empty and click create. So now we can open up our Niagara system after we name it. Uh, I just named mine NS underscore blowing sand, and then I will open it up. Um, just teach everything from scratch. I'm gonna delete this little empty. Uh, so all we have is our little light blue box. So now I'm gonna go to the top where it says window, go to preview scene, uh, click down where it says environment and uh, click uh, off show environment. And then when it says environment color, I'm just gonna make it black. This way it adds some contrast between the effect and the background so I can actually see it. I won't be able to see it that well in the actual environment. Once that's done, I'm going to right click, go to add emitter and go to empty and add. So I'm basically just adding in the empty I had before, but showing you how you do it in case you started off from scratch. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is go to emitter update, click the plus sign and go to spawn rate and add a spawn rate into our emitter update. After that, I'm gonna click over the details panel on spawn rate and change it to 10. Now, all you're gonna be seeing is basically one circle, but right now it's 10 circles spawning in the exact same spot on top of each other. So the next thing I'm gonna do is particle spawn, click on the plus sign and go to the search bar and type in add velocity. Then we go up to the top where it says the little red issues and click fix issues. And now you're gonna see all our 10 are spawning straight upwards. So let's go over to velocity. Uh, let's go to the uh, Z, which is the blue, change that to zero. And then we can go over to the red and make that 500. And then now you're gonna see all these little 10 uh, uh, spheres just shooting out in one direction. After that, we can go to particle spawn, click on the plus sign, and then type in uh, shape location. So this is gonna help us uh, basically shoot out our um, particle via a shape's location. Uh, so at the very top, we're gonna change shape to box plane. Uh, and then we're gonna go to box size and change this to 20 um, and then 600 and then 20 again. So basically it's 20 by 600 by 20. Um, so if we turn our camera on the actual uh, preview, you're gonna see that it's basically shooting out uh, from a rectangle. After that, we can go to initialize a uh, particle, um, go under sprite attribute, make it uniform, and then uh, uniform sprite size can be changed to 100. And then let's go down to particle update, click on the plus sign and do scale sprite size. This way we can change the size of the sprite uh, throughout its lifetime. So just adding in right away, you're gonna see how it starts small and goes big. And then the only thing I'm gonna do here is change it to a smooth ramp by clicking one of the presets at the top. This way the change from small to large is a little more smooth and less linear. After that, I'm gonna to go to particle update, click on the plus sign again, and then type in scale uh, color. And then under scale alpha, click the little arrow on the far right, go to uh, float from curve, and then we're gonna hit the template uh, on the far right, uh, smooth ramp down. Um, again, adding this float from curve just allows you to have more control over the parameters instead of just typing one single parameter. So now it's gonna change and kind of fade off. Now, after clicking smooth ramp down, I'm gonna add in one more template, which is the pulse out. Um, you'll see it because it's just a quick one that just kind of shoots up. Uh, click on that one as well to add that in. 
Um, so it means it's gonna come in very slowly with no color, hit full color, and then kind of pulse out, which is very similar to how you'd expect like dust or sand to come through because the wind's gonna pick it up. It's gonna show very quickly and then it'll spread apart into the air. After that, we can start visualizing um, the Niagara system. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it into our scene so I can kind of see how it's looking. So back in the Niagara system now, uh, I'm going to click back on the empty, uh, change the render over to local space, and then time to bring in some new assets um, for our Niagara particle system. Okay, so now head over to the Epic Marketplace and type in Realistic Starter VFX Pack Volume 2. Um, this is what we're going to be adding into our project. This will have everything we need and it should be completely free. So um, download it, add to your project and we are ready to go. Okay, back in Unreal here, head over to the Realistic Starter Pack folder and from there head into the Materials folder. So here you can see a bunch of different materials. The ones we really want to focus on are the smoke. Um, you could choose which one you're going to use. I wasn't sure at the start, so I grabbed smoke wisp and smoke puff A. Um, so you just want to click on both, shift click, um, copy, and then head over to your VFX folder to paste them. So now let's open one of the materials so you can see what we're working with. If you need to change the color to kind of fit your scene, feel free to do so because um, you can adjust. But at the end of the day, what I want to show you is this is basically a flip book. Um, it is a, uh, a flat animation that's kind of showing you beginning to end. And we need to now tell Niagara how to read uh, this material or this image so it understands how it can play it uh, throughout the Niagara system. Okay, back in the Niagara system here. Uh, before we start adding in the logbook, I do wanna make a few more changes. So I'm gonna go over to Initialize Particle, uh, go down to Sprite Attributes, and um, we can actually just change it to Random Non, or Random Uniform. And then the min minimum size can be 700, and then let's change the max size to 900. After that, we can go to the spawn rate and let's just change that to 15. All right, and now we're ready to add in our logbook. So let's go over to particle update, uh, click the plus sign and go down to, or type in sub UV animation. And then from there, let's go over to where it says sprite renderer none and change it to sprite renderer. After that, we can go down to the sprite renderer, uh, go under the sub UV, uh, enable sub UV, and then now we have to type in the image size. So we can do eight by eight. And now the last thing is just adding in our material. So we can go up to the top where it says material, um, open up our content browser and drag and drop our smoke wisp. And now you'll see the Niagara system is kicking out uh, some really beautiful uh, wispy smoke. So if we compile, save, and head back to our scene where we already set up all of our Niagara systems, we can see how it looks. Uh, now from the top, it might look a little weird because you see the little plumes coming out, but once you kind of shoot it uh, or move the camera so it's coming towards the camera, it looks really cool and has like a really interesting look of uh, sand or dust kind of being kicked up into your uh, camera. And that is how we create a Dust Niagara particle system. So thank you for following the tutorial. Uh, please like and subscribe because it helps me out a ton. And catch you guys on the next one.